Good afternoon. Welcome back to Passionate Oral Talk Radio Network, a wholly owned subsidiary of Global Media Network, LLC. Educate, enlighten, entertain. And on this episode, I have found another legitimate scam that will really scare everyone. The article is from MSN, and the story is by Senator Ron Wyden. And his title is, Your Phone is a Sleeper Agent for Stalkers and Fundamentalist Politicians. Now, if that isn't scary and a scam at the same time, I don't know what is. Apparently, people have been researching this and data brokers have abused Americans' most personal data by selling it. They're identifying information to businesses, other individuals, and even governments. And through a news story, it shows you how the industry practices an increasingly and endangering a woman's safety. The data brokers are selling the ability to track phones that visit abortion clinics and follow them back across state lines all the way to their owner's home. All it takes is a 24-hour surveillance and a credit card. And the writer goes on to say that given the creepy enthusiasm with which MAGA government officials are inserting themselves into women's health choices, these tracking tools present a pressing danger for women across the country. Now, I remember months ago when my daughter-in-law told me that for $50, she can go over to the dark web and buy all the personal banking information on me and get me into serious trouble by taking my identity. So listen up. According to reports by multiple news organizations last week, the data broker Babel Street allowed a private investigator to use its Locate X tool to zero in on abortion clinics and other sensitive locations. While Babo Street advertises its tool as being for government use, in practice, this private investigator received a week-long trial subscription, apparently without any vetting whatsoever. Scary? The author goes on to say he spent years probing the data broker, Manifestance, And unfortunately, what he received was not surprising. His investigation found that wireless companies let data breaker, broker, excuse me, and they are a breaker as well, sell America's location information to bounty hunters, corrupt law enforcement officials, and nearly anyone with a credit card, which means you and I can do it as well. This year earlier, he revealed that data brokers help anti-abortion activists send targeted misinformation about abortion to patients at 600 Planned Parenthood clinics across the country. That's not blackmail. That's not hostage taking, threatening somebody's life. Really? Is that what the United States has come to mean? He also discovered that automakers sold drivers, location data, and other records to data brokers for pennies. And he successfully pushed utility companies to end their practice of giving away their customers' personal information to these same data brokers. So listen up, folks. You don't need to be scammed illegally. The people in this country... All the evil doers, they're getting this stuff legally. And the government is turning a blind eye. MAGA politicians show that they will go to shameful lengths to control women's bodies. Really? 
If men got pregnant, do you think these kind of restrictions would apply? I don't think so. So why are they applying them to women? Since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, Republicans have moved mountains to restrict the constitutional rights and freedom of women, making it impossible for many women to live their lives free from government intrusion. Makes you kind of wonder, where are these same Republicans when these unwanted babies grow up? In fact, where are they when these kids are growing up? These are the kids who get abused. These are the kids that get abandoned. These are the kids who run away. These are the kids with addiction problems. They're nowhere to be found. They don't feed them. They don't clothe them. They don't exist. And yet they're against abortion. Don't they abort the child? Instead of aborting the fetus, I think fetuses have more rights than these poor children who are brought up. These people won't rest until there's a politician in every bedroom and exam room in America. Do you really want this to be treated like nothing, to be treated like property? Dogs and cats get better respect than women do. Wake up, America. You're allowing this to happen by putting those people into power. They don't care about you. They're following their own personal agenda. And don't bring your religion into it because that's a lot of the opiate of the people. Americans should not accept a reality where their phones are sleeper agents for stalkers and fundamentalist politicians to track women across the country. Hell, they can do it to children too. And you think your little Bobby and little Janie was free. Not anymore. So how can you fight back? Well, the first thing is anyone who cares about women's rights needs to make themselves heard and vote for candidates who have a track record of protecting those rights. The Dobbs decision to overturn women's rights to choose was a culmination of a decade-long far-right movement to take over the nation's courts. Congratulations, they did it. Do you want your freedom to be taken away? Your individual freedom? That's what a fascist does. If you don't remember, go to PBS. They got plenty of programs about World War II and what the fascists did. Not just to the Jews, to the blacks, to people who were retarded, people with dementia and Alzheimer's, people who are handicapped. Come on. They hated anyone unless they were blue-eyed and had white skin. And that takes care of about, I would say, more than half the world. Democrats, they need to respond with the same amount of determination, which is why he introduced the Judicial Modernization and Transparency Act to reform the court system and ensure our judges better represent American values. Do you can think that's going to happen? If a Republican president gets rid of the Constitution of the United States, instead of saying bye-bye, Bertie, you're going to say bye-bye, American freedom. Second, the executive branch should use the powers it already has to crack down on daughter brokers' sleazy behavior. At my urging, the Federal Trade Commission has already started to go after some daughter brokers that sold location data collected from Americans without their consent. That stuff is personal. Or as I told one person, it was bad enough when experience was breached and over 100 million people were exposed with their personal banking information. It's just a slap in the face when the United Healthcare several months later is breached and that same information is also re-released back into the dark and black web. Come on, folks. We pay thousands into these systems that tell us that if we do ABC, one, two, three, we'll be protected. Trick or treat. 
The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is expected to announce its own regulations in the near future to extend financial privacy rules to the industries. States can get involved as well to protect their residents starting in 2026, which is two years away. California will be able to sign up for a new daughter broker registry where with a single click, they can require the brokers to delete their data and stop selling it in the future. The law that has created this new privacy control will put tens of millions of Americans back in control of their own personal data. And it was model after legislation, this particular senator wrote, I encourage the senator, other states to follow. Third, Congress needs to finally breach the corporate barricade that has blocked a strong consumer privacy law. He has authored his own strong privacy bills, the Mind Your Own Business Act and the Banning Surveillance Advertising Act. And in the coming months, Senator I'm sorry, I'm trying to get back to his name so we won't forget. Senator Ron Wyden, W-Y-D-E-N, wants to reform the court system and ensure our churches better represent American values. He plans to release two new bills, one that will protect Americans' privacy by limiting how much data websites and apps can collect on Americans and preventing data brokers from amassing and selling that data. And another that will protect Americans from being spied on by their smart TVs and set top boxes and having that data given away or sold to data brokers. It's notable that the vast majority of the phones tracked by Babel Street's Locate X2 uses Google's Android operating system. Though Apple has changed its privacy settings in 2021 to make it easier for users to stop apps from hovering up and selling their personal information, Google has failed to do the same. As a result, those people who use Android phones are far more vulnerable to surveillance than people who use iPhones. And it doesn't take a really smart person to understand why the largest online advertising company in the world does not want to make it easy for users to stop tracking by advertising companies and their data brokers. Google could act immediately to limit a data broker access to location information and cut this industry off at its source. Why not? Money, 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 money makes the world go around, huh? When it comes to violation of Americans' privacy, the USA has reached a crisis point right up there with global warming. Bring back the oil and gas industry and we seal our own tombs and our own coffins. The repeal of road has only heightened the stakes for women who want to make health decisions without a politician in every part of their house. In their doctor's office or professional political stalkers who have the freedom to do as they wish. The common citizen is no longer protected by their own laws. They've been twisted. And folks, If you don't do something about it, it will do something about you. Thank you very much for listening to our program on Scam Damnation today. You can see this program all over again on youtube.com forward slash at Passionate World Radio, or you can go over to our website, https going forward slash forward slash passionateworldtalkradio.com. Scroll down until you reach current this current of state affairs click on that it will take you to a google link click on the google link and you're inside the belly of the beast also on linkedin.com forest class lillian caldwell 
as well as 30 other social media platforms. This program is brought to you by three companies. Number one, a publishing company in Singapore, where they will help you write your memoirs and get them out to the world so the rest of the world knows what a wonderful, influential person you are. And your kids will probably be very proud to hear about some of your experiences that will not be repeated because, well, let's face it, you can never go back. You could always go forward. Also by PWTRN, take our The Obstacles, a podcast training, a two-month program, five days a week at one hour, interactive, bring a friend, learn everything you've always wanted to know about podcasting, please go over to our website, https colon forward slash forward slash education dot passionate world talk radio dot com forward slash masterclass and by my flex dot com http colon forward slash forward slash AI with Lillian L I L L I A N dot com. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And remember, we will continue the legitimate scams practice and approved by law in this country. Thank you very much and have a great day.